hello. So uh, we're going to look at how we can make polygons out of X-Gen today. So we have our vest right here. So make sure that the mesh that you want to turn into to put X-Gen on is uh, completely separate from from each other and from the overall uh, mesh. So in this case, we want to make uh, hair on the top right here, all over this uh, this uh, polygon. So we can see that there's an inner layer as well. So we don't want this. We're just gonna have to take it out. Uh, faces. Delete it, then put it back to where it was, zero right there. So now that we've prepared our polygons for each gen, make sure that there is no inverted mesh, because this can cause a lot of problems and it could cause also Maya to crash. So if you want to invert your mesh, it's a uh, display, mesh display in here, and you just go reverse. Right, so you click on your polygon and you click either here, which is create new description, or here and here. So right here you name your description, for example, we're just going to say it's for uh, best and one collection, let's just call all this for so we're going to use placing shaping guides. Uh, they're usually better. So to, for, for example, if you have to make hair for an animal, just make uh, a certain type of hair shape. It's the best options you can get for a classic X-Gen um, from, from the old X-Gen. Right, so right now you don't see any hair, it's because we don't have any guides yet. So to create guides, you need to click either here or here. For example, add curves, and you have this brush here, so you can start making guides. It's all around, right there. So when that's done, you have to scale the guides down. So you select them all. Just use your classic scaling. Let's add a, another one here. Right, there we go. So now that you have your guides, what you do is just click on the eye and you should see some here. Right now we don't see anything is because there is density at one. So we're, it means practically zero to one here. So we're going to pump this off to, for example, 1000. Just be careful when it comes to density. Um, if there's too much density, if there's too much hair, Maya can crash and it can get very, very slow. So right now we have all the hairs that we want. Um, we can see that the hair are too thick. What we can do is generally scale them the width down. So right here, that's the width. For example, we're just going to scale them to 0.01 altogether. And so we have this. Right, keep in mind that the guides also um, influence the direction of the hair. So if you pull this to the side and you click on the eye again, the hair goes to the side. Right. So. Now that we have our hair, we can actually make it thinner at the top. So you go to whip ramp, you take T for tip right here, and just scale it down. And there you go, you have thinned out hair um, at the tip. So we can see that there's still not enough hair. We can pop it up to maybe 5,000. There we go. So now we want to make this hair a little more uh, fuzzy looking and, and less uh, organized. So what you can do is you can go to modifier, 
and create a modifier. And there's a modifier in here called noise, uh, which makes the hair goes in different directions and they kind of look a little crazy. So click on noise. So what you're going to see is this. Um, uh, hairs are going all over the place. So we want to make this a little bit less. So there's the magnitude. You can actually change the magnitude, for example, or scale it down to 0 0.5 instead of 1. And so, yeah, it looks less crazy. Um, keep in mind that the noise actually makes the hair slightly longer. So if you, for example, take it off to see the original hair, you can see that it's a little shorter. And this makes it slightly longer. So to keep the length of the hair, there's something called preserve length on here. It goes from 0 to 100. So we want to preserve the length. So we're just going to pump in 100. So it preserves the length of the hair. Right. Um, so it, let's just say that this is what we want. Now, if for example, if you want hair to go up a little here, you just add uh, some modifiers um, right here, and you just sculpt them. Um, for example, when it's green, it means it's selected and you can move it. So we can move this one. It's right there. This is the move tool, move guide tools. So you click on here. Move the tip of it up, like that. And that's what it does. So right now, if we click on the eye again, we should see hair here going slightly upwards. There we go. So that's what, sort of what we want. And we can do this on the other side as well. So let's just do it on all of the sides. So we get something even. So you see that these ones are longer than this one because this is the basic length of the guides. So what you can do is just select them both and scale them down all together. There we go. Scale them down. There. So if you think that the guides are too thick, uh, for example, you can actually thin the width out. What you do is select them, go to here, X guide shape, and type in 0 0.01 for example. And it should make the guides much thinner and uh, easier to sculpt if you have a lot of them. Okay, let's go back to the Xgen's hair. So if we look at this, this looks right about what we want. So once we have this, uh, what we should be able to do is to convert this into polygons. So to do that, you click on the descriptions that you want. Make sure you select the description, not the collection. Uh, you go to generate, and in here there's something called convert uh, to exchange primitive to polygon. Um, this also works for interactive groom spline. So go down here and just convert interactive groom to polygons. So we're just going to click here, raise exchange primitive to polygons. So in here, um, we usually don't really touch any of these options except for this one, combine mesh. Uh, what this does is it makes all the fur one single mesh, one single polygon. If you don't tick on this, it will make every single individual hair a different polygon. So you make sure this one's turned on. And then you click on convert. So what happened is uh, Maya made a copy of your exchange hair into polygons. So for example, you can hide this and these are your hair polygons. You zoom in, you can see that they're individual polygons, and you can select them with vertex and click them. There you go. There, you can 
even take this off, your arrow should be here. So there's one, only one single uh, mesh. So yeah, so that's how you make uh, polygons out of exchange uh, hair. <laughs>